Hey guys, how's it going? Comparing here. So today I want to talk about uh, hitting your keyboard and uh, the different ways you can do that and how to optimize it to uh, get the most out of your game. Now, there's something that I noticed uh, many years ago earlier on in World of Warcraft and I've touched upon it in you know, some of my very old videos on YouTube. It's the fact that um, when you're playing an action-based game where the sum of your actions pretty much uh, dictates how well you're going to do, um, you want to min-max the number of actions that you can take. And, you know, some people, when they play a video game, when they play like World of Warcraft, or, you know, this applies to many other games, of course, when they see like a cooldown up, they just hit the button once. So, you know, just hit the button once, bam. You see the kill command just got up, bam, I'm going to hit it once. But if you do that, there's going to be the time difference between you, see, you seeing the cooldown being up and you pressing the button and actually going through. So there's going to be some dead time where you're accomplishing absolutely nothing. And this dead time, you know, it can be maybe, you know, a third of a second, a fourth of a second, a tenth of a second. But over time, it'll add up. And the sum of your actions uh, is not going to be optimal. What some people do, what a lot of, like, you know, very good gamers do, professional gamers, all that stuff, they spam the hell out of all their keys. And uh, that works pretty well to some extent. Um, you know, the reality is you can, you can maybe smash your keys maybe 10 times a second. Uh, past that, you're pushing arthritis in like five years. So, um, you know, I play, I play games like 10 to 14 hours a day every single day without exception. And uh, for me to be doing that is, is going to pretty much uh, break my uh, scrying little fingers. So to avoid that, um, what I have done for many years and what I'll continue to do is I use uh, certain software for me to uh, spam keys without actually mashing the keys. And uh, there is some question of whether, whether this is allowed or not. Um, I've, I've done this before through keyboard software. In fact, my keyboard itself has that function, so I, I can show you here. Um, so if I press 5 and if I hold it down, this is just my keyboard. I'm not doing anything. It's spamming the command. This is like a, you know, just a generic SteelSeries keyboard right here that I have. So, you know, it comes with 4S. If I hold it down, it triggers after like about a second, it just spams the crap out of it. But uh, this is not really that good because obviously, you know, you don't always know what you're going to be doing a second ahead of time to min-max the number of globals that you do in the game. And there's a few other things to consider. Like, in World of Warcraft, there's this thing called uh, lag tolerance. Uh, it's right here under combat under options. And, um, you know, I have custom lag tolerance of 20 milliseconds because people are like, you know, you want to have your custom lag tolerance the same as your latency in the game. And I don't really know where the best place to put it at is, uh, but, you know, if you have 20 latency, right now I have like 30, because, you know, it varies a little bit. That means I have to spam my key 50 times a second to have perfectly optimized globals. That's just not going to happen. You know, it's impossible without, um, you know, using uh, certain keyboards, uh, certain macros through keyboards, or certain software like I use now. And the software that I use is AutoHockey. You can make AutoHockey, uh, you can pretty much run it really, really well because it's a very like co well-coded um, engine. So you can, you can make anything out of it. People use like bots and stuff out of it. So that's why when some people talk about this program, uh, they have been banned for it. But um, I think there's certain reasonable measures that people take uh, for this program. So uh, I'll show you guys a piece of the script that I use. And basically it's... Um, when I press a key and hold it down, it'll spam the action under a given interval. And the interval that I set is 20 milliseconds because that's what I have the lag tolerance. That's what my latency is in World of Warcraft. So when I, instead of like, you know, mashing down number five, I can just hold it down. And I hold it down for like, you know, half a second ahead of time. And my globals are pretty much perfectly optimized. And, um, you know, you, you can, I'll, I'll post like a, an image of, of the script so you can copy it. All you have to do is like download AutoHotKey. And uh, once you've done that, you just uh, create a new script. You make these, you make this like section for each of, your, um, uh, each of your keys that you want repetition on. And if you have scroll lock on, it'll activate it. If you have scroll lock off, it'll deactivate it. So uh, for instance, you know, I can, I can pretty much do my five, 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 or I can put scroll lock on to activate my script. See? And there's no delay. I just hold five. And that's the idea. Just smash the crap out of the keyboard without ruining your keyboard or your fingers. So pretty good stuff. I really wish some keyboards would just have this innate, but um, you know, that's probably uh, not going to happen for some time uh, because you know, 
usually this kind of technology it follows uh, where most people are, what most people want, and this is just something that a lot of people haven't thought of, haven't really thought of optimizing. So if you want a small edge over those people that are, uh, you know, living in the 2000s, uh, you can uh, you can start thinking about uh, these kinds of concepts. You know, for me, I'm not that good with code, but I'm very good with concepts, and I saw this as a problem, and I found the solution. So hopefully, um, you know, you guys learn something from this. If you decide to use it, again, use it as your own risk, at, at your own risk, if 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 you're uh, interested in this kind of stuff, because. Uh, you know, some people have a negative opinion over uh, using these kinds of things, but um, I haven't had any problems. In any case, hopefully you guys have a good one, and I'll see you tomorrow.